The Saturday Supplement. Live from our Kalani studio. With Frank Lewis. Businesses developing here and sharing knowledge with others throughout Europe with assistance from Interrate Collaborate. Sean de Bettler, who's uh, with me throughout the programme, is the programme coordinator and communications officer. Comments with your name and address for use on air phone 066 Text 083-300-3300 or email flewis at radiokerry.ie. Now using new technology and marketing, Paul Travaux, Travaux's uh, restaurant, Killarney. You say you now get a third of your business through your efforts on Facebook. Explain to me. Morning, Frank. How are you doing? Hi, Hi Sean. Hi, Frank. Uh, Hi, Paul. Yeah, we started uh, about 12 months ago, um, very much into social media there, in particular on Facebook. And uh, Facebook opened up your media base to a worldwide audience. Mm -hmm. And we've done some crazy videos. I I know Sean has seen quite a few of them. And because of what we're doing on Facebook, it's generating, uh, as you said, pretty much a third of our business into the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Sorry, go on. Well, how how do you do it? You you put some of these videos up and people... I mean, you you say Facebook is an ideal medium to undertake subliminal advertising. Give me an example. Tell me what you're talking about. Right. Well, a lot of people misunderstand what Facebook is all about. If you do up your Facebook page and you're just advertising, we're open these hours or we have this or we have that, people get bored of it. They're Mm -hmm. They're not interested in it at all. But if you do some sort of advertising, which is just mentioning your name, which is what we do through our videos... People are constantly thinking about you without even realizing that you're actually advertising to them. So last year in in December when we had the snow, we had an unbelievable, like most restaurants in town, we had an unbelievable amount of cancellations. Yeah. And I turned around and I said, you know, there has to be something we can do to turn this uh, into something positive. So I went up in a pair of shorts on top of the Kerry Mountains, in minus six degrees, surrounded in snow, and cooked three fresh Kenmare Bay scallops with uh, <laughs> Sneem Black Pudding. What about the frostbite? freezing my scallops off. <laughs> and that got, the, the, the media attention that that got, like, throughout the entire country was incredible. From from Ryan Tuberty to Ray Foley to Ray Darcy to newspapers to everything. And we did a huge uh, interview slot on Radio Kerry as well at Christmas. Yeah. And the amount of people that saw it was just, was frightening, I have to admit. <laughs> so we continued on with that. We kept making, we've made over 40 videos so far that you can see on either Facebook or YouTube. Right. And collectively, they've had over 50,000 views now, there's no ad that I could do in any newspaper that would hit an audience as effective as the videos that we're doing on, on the Facebook page. Uh-huh. From Tilburg, a landlocked city in the south of the Netherlands, a video artist whose company, Victor Zorro, produces video content, makes video installations for events. Vincent Vriens, I hope I have the pronunciation right. You're, you're welcome to the programme. Um, hello, welcome. Hello. Your, your yeah. own business shows how important the new social technology is. Um, yes, because um, the thing with Facebook and um, Twitter is... Um, I mean, you, oh. you, make, you make the point that a year ago, 2% of your business was through Facebook. What, what is it now? Uh, well, a lot of communication goes through Facebook uh, right now. Um, so, sorry, uh, I missed that. This line isn't great. What did you say? What percentage? Um, there's a lot of uh, communication uh, moving towards Facebook. Uh, uh, it's moved the, from email... This line is, hope, um, is hopeless. Hold on. We'll try and get a reconnection with you and we'll come back to you in, in just a second. The line is very bad. Um, Paul, Paul yeah. Travaux, after a year, you now have two and a half thousand friends on Facebook. M- my impression uh, is that a great number of Facebook friends, and I'm t- not talking about yours, are barely known, if at all. Is this a huge waste of time? Well, I, I tell you, Frank, there's two types of Facebook. There, there's your personal page and then there's your, what's known as, say, a business page. So your personal page, you have friends, and then your business page, you've got likes. So people will come onto your page, and they could be anybody. You might even have never have seen them. We've got people from India. We've got people from France, America. This week alone, we had two families, one from Colorado and one from Oklahoma, came over to Killarney and picked travels on High Street in Killarney purely because of the videos that they had seen on Facebook. So you, you might know them. They're not friends. They're called likes instead. Yeah. And anybody and everybody who likes the content of what you're doing on your Facebook page then becomes a like of the page. So not an actual, I have my own personal friend page. Mm-hmm. And there are people, obviously, that I'm, I'm friends with. So I wouldn't have 2,500 friends in a month of Sundays. Yeah. But uh, we, thankfully, we've got 2,500 likes yeah. on the restaurant page. Yeah. So there's uh, a big difference between the two of them. Ind- indeed. V- Vincent, Vincent Rins, I think we have you back again. Hopefully the line is better at this stage. <clears throat> uh, hello. That's much better. That's much better. Sorry, you were saying that a year ago, 2% of your own business was through Facebook. It's now 20% or more. 
Yes, um, and it's uh, more about the communication that uh, the people try to reach me. Um, uh, for instance, people want me to make a video or whatever, mm -hmm. or have some information, and um, normally they would send me an email or give me a phone call. Mm -hmm. And right now, uh, I see a lot of messages coming up through Facebook and Twitter also. Mm -hmm. You're bringing a roadshow on new technologies to Kerry later this year. Bearing in mind the, the huge importance of, of tourism to the economy here, what's your key advice on new technology for small tourism businesses? Um, first, I would um, be aware that you have to know what you're doing with it. So uh, do not start a Facebook page uh, just anyway. Um, first, uh, look into the material and uh, what it's about and how you could use it. Mm -hmm. um, and then find someone who's uh, who's fast uh, with those things. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's also important to be regular, so you have to check it regular mm -hmm. and try to find new things that you can put on. So not the things you have on your website already, mm -hmm. but uh, nice little small news things to know. Mm. You, you, you make the point there that the value of, of a training course is against learning by yourself. H how much will a complete newcomer learn from your roadshow? Um, well, basically what we, um, we go somewhere and um, with a team of uh, uh, um, yeah, people from companies and they can advise. <laughs> uh, so you can put a question there and there will be workshops as well mm -hmm. um, on social media uh, also, I believe. Uh -huh. Um, so basically, if you have a question about how to use social media, you can put that question uh, on the roadshow and some people will uh, look to the problem or the thing you want to know mm -hmm. and will give you a personal advice. Mm. Uh, not uh, related to what we've just been saying, but for 10 days in July this month, the whole city of Tilburg becomes a giant fun fair. I, mean, I believe it's the biggest of its kind in the Benelux countries. Has, yeah. Pink, has Pink Monday been celebrated yet this year? Um, no, it will be the first Monday of the fair. And when is that? When is it starting? And um, ex explain Pink Monday to people. Okay. Um, Pink Monday is uh, a day on the fair that uh -huh. a lot of gay people and um, first tides come to the fair to uh -huh. celebrate. Like um, also on dance events a lot of times. It's, and it's a big party. It's really, really, really a big party. It's really fun. Indeed. Sean, Sean de Butler, I mean, a, a danger of being overwhelmed by new technology, nothing, uh, you know, what's useful, no, knowing what's useful and, and what is a waste of time is very important. It is indeed, Frank, and I think both Vincent and Paul have made the point there very clearly that when you take on uh, this new technology, it's very important to make sure that you're actually familiar with what you're doing mm -hmm. and uh, additionally then that you're willing to put the time and commitment into it. Now, I know Paul is quite addicted to it and he's, he admits it himself, but Vincent, when I was speaking with him during the week, Vincent was saying that it does take some time, but you know, the benefits obviously are there if you're willing to be that little bit radical and willing to look at different ways of doing things. Go to the top of the mountains in shorts in the <laughs> middle of winter I mean, <laughs> there are extremes you know. Well, I, I tell you Frank, the reason why you get so addicted is because this is the only way you can interact 100% with your customers. You're, you're, you're constantly chatting to them. We did a competition there, and it's only a teaser of what we're building up to. We gave away prizes worth about five, 600 euro in the restaurant there about two weeks ago, and we're building up to a competition that I'm doing where the prize is going to be worth about 3,500 euro. And no other restaurant in the country is crazy or insane enough to do something like this. But you have to be on my page on Travos on Facebook to see how you're going to win it. But we're going to build up to it slowly. The next prize I'm going to give away is going to be worth over 1,000 euro for Christmas. And every business is going to want to be on my page to see just how easy it is that they can win it. And Sean okay. knows just how crazy I am. <laughs> Trust me, it's going to be it's going to be a great time. <laughs> Paul Travaux of Travaux's Restaurant in Killarney and Vincent Reins. Vincent, we look forward to seeing you on the roadshow when you come to Kerry. Okay, thank you. Thank I you very too. much. We'll take a break. Okay, okay, thanks very much, guys. Bye. The Saturday Supplement. Live from our Killarney studio. With Frank Lewis. 